yet to receive official confirmation. It has been widely reported that Michigan will play those games without starting quarterback Wilton Spate. Spate was injured during Saturday's loss with what many believe to be a broken collarbone. Again, no confirmation. John O'Corn expected to start in place of Spate this week with Shane Morris perhaps also an option for Jim Harbaugh. More on this story now with Michigan football beat writer Angelique Shingalis of the Detroit News. All right, Angelique, what do we know at this point? Because no official confirmation from the school yet as to what exactly Wilton Spate's injury is. And Rick, we're not going to get an official statement from Michigan. I, I, I don't think that's, that's Jim Harbaugh's intention this week or maybe even next week going into the Ohio State game. But I can tell you, Rick, that everybody I've talked to since, since Monday, no one has confirmed to me that it's a... A broken collarbone and uh, you know I, I, I my my sense is it, it, it's a shoulder related injury and that he is gonna Wilton State will, will try to work through it if possible and, and be available for the Ohio State game but going forward it, it's John O'Corn's team now his offense to run and Jim Harbaugh did say that John O'Corn will take the snaps with the ones this week, that it was an extremely tight job in camp and that he has a body of work to evaluate o O'Corn on. What should we expect to see from John O'Corn on Saturday? John is, is a little more athletic than, than Wilton Spade. And, and talking to Chris Wormley, uh, Michigan's defensive lineman, who saw O'Corn a lot last year running the scout team, you know, he said he's more athletic, and he said, you know, the difference is Wilton, when he's running, he looks like it hurts. You know, it's just like he's not as, he's not as, as, as athletically gifted. And, but that doesn't mean Wilton's obviously not, a, not as good as O'Corn, because he won the job, but O'Corn will definitely look to run a little bit more than, than Wilton. And he's got a very strong arm, and he's got the leadership ability, Rick. And, and that's something that all the, the Michigan players this week have talked about is, is the guy shows up at meetings early. He's always taking notes. He's, he, he, he really goes at it like he is the starting quarterback because he had that experience at Houston. So he knows how to conduct himself, and he's very much a leader in the huddle, they said. So they don't feel like there's going to be any drop-off in, in terms of leadership in the huddle or in terms of talent on, on Saturday. Angelique Shingalis of the Detroit News. As always, Angelique, truly appreciate all the insight. Thanks, Rick.